Hello students, welcome back to your UVS class. So in our last class, we have started the chapter types of houses. So today we are going to start the book exercise. So before doing our book exercise, let me give a small description okay, of the chapter again. So in the last chapter, what we have got, that houses are of two types. Kacha house and Pakka house. Kacha house are made of mud, straw, leaves and pakka houses are made of wood, bricks, cement, etc. So kacha houses are temporary but pakka houses are permanent house. Okay? And another two types of house, another types we have got that some houses are permanent house, some are there which are temporary house. Temporary house are which one? Which we can carry from one place to another like tent, caravan, houseboat and permanent house which we cannot move like bungalow, flat, cottage okay so today we will start the book exercise so for that take out your book, pencil, eraser and we will start the exercise okay so take it out so students let's start the book exercise okay so, first one you see, fill in the blanks. Here all the help box are options are there. You have to fill up the blanks. So, number one you see, a dash is where people live. Options are shop, house. So, where we live? We live on shop or house? We live on house so you underline house and you write it here h o u s e house okay so next we cook our food in the dash kitchen or bathroom so where we cook food you have seen no your mother is cooking food where kitchen or bathroom we cook our food in the, yes, kitchen. So here you write kitchen. K-I-T-C-H-E-N. Kitchen. Because in bathroom we take bath. So correct answer will be kitchen. Next. A dash is made of wood and cement. Options are cottage, tent. So which is made of wood and cement? You know the answer. If you have read the chapter, you can answer. So answer is cottage. Because tent is made of nylon. That is cloth. And it is a temporary house. We can fold it and carry it. But cottage we cannot carry. It is a permanent house. So cottage is made of wood and cement. So you underline cottage. And you write it here, cottage. C O double T A G E. Cottage. Okay. Next. A dash is a house on wheels. Houseboat or caravan? Which one? Answer will be caravan because houseboat it floats on water. It's a boat. And on wheels, caravan are having wheels it can move from one place to another with the help of wheels so you underline caravan you write it here c a r a b a n caravan okay next and igloo is made of dash snow or fabric igloo it's a no it's a house made of snow because igloos are found in the cold places where it is very cold. There we can see igloo. So answer will be snow. S N O W snow. Okay, so you write the answer. Number one house. Number two kitchen. Number three cottage. Number four caravan. Number five, snow. Okay, so you write it down. Then, then we'll start the next one. 
completed. Now you turn the page. Next we will do yes no. Write yes or no. Which is a correct sentence for that you have to write yes and for the wrong one you have to write no. Number one. A house made of mud is a kacha house. So kacha house, two types of house we have got. No? Kacha house and pakka house. So which is made of mud. That house is known as kacha house. So answer will be yes. Y-E-S. You write it yes. Next. Bricks are used to make pakka houses. So pakka houses are permanent house. Bricks, cement, stone, these all are required to make pakka house. So yes, bricks are used to make pakka house. So this one also answer will be yes. Right. Next. Caravans float on water. So caravans, just now we have got, no? in the fill in the blanks we have got this. Caravans are having wheels, so it cannot float. Okay, so caravans float on water, so this answer will be no. It is wrong. This sentence is wrong. Next. Tents are made of nylon. Yes, tents are made of nylon. Nylon is a type of cloth and tents are made of nylon. So it will be yes. Next. A shack is a poor man's house. Shack, this one also you have got in the chapter. Shack, it's a poor man's house. It's made up of this dry leaves and all this. So answer will be yes. So number one, yes. Number two, yes. Number three, no. Number four, yes. Number five, yes. Okay, you do it, then we'll start match the following. Okay. Next, match the following. You have to match it properly. So number one will be flat. So flat, here all the options are there. So flat, answer will be a house in a big building. Big, big buildings, there are particular houses there. Okay, that is known as flat. It's a part of a big building. So here you match flat with Number D. One number you match with number D. That is a house in a big building. Number two, stilt house. Stilt houses, this is a special type of house which we can found no, in the, uh, the areas where flood is common. So a house made on wooden poles. So stilt house, you match with number E. So number one, D. Number two, E. Next. Houseboat. Houseboat, you all know houseboat. It's a house which floats on water. Here you see all the options where houseboat, it floats on water. So a house floating on water. So yes, houseboat. Number three, you match with number A. Next, shack. Shack, it is a poor man's house. Just now you have got no here. A shack is a poor man's house. So you see a poor man's shelter. Shelter means house. So shack C number. And next bungalow. A big house with a garden. Bungalows are very big houses in front. Big very big gardens are there. Lawns are there. Okay. It's a bungalow. Done. So number 1 D. Number 2 E. Number 3 A. Number 4, C. Number 5, B. Okay, done. If you cannot understand properly, once more you go through the video and complete it in your book. Okay, and learn all this also. So we have completed the chapter. Okay, learn all this properly. Go through the chapter again and again. Each spelling you see properly, learn. Okay, all this. So in our next class, we will start another chapter. So, stay safe and take care everyone.